Michael Peter Balzeri was born on 16 October 1962 in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. He is of partial Hungarian and Irish descent. His father, Mick Balzeri, an avid fisherman, and often took him fishing. When Flea was four, his family moved to Rye, New York for his father's career. In 1971, his parents divorced and his father returned to Australia. Flea returned to Australia to spend time with his father, completing three years of school in the national capital Canberra. Flea and his sister Karen stayed with their mother Patricia, who subsequently married jazz musician Walter Urban. Flea's stepfather frequently invited musicians to his house for jam sessions. The family moved to Los Angeles, California, where Flea became fascinated by the trumpet. He had no interest in rock music at the time, instead idolizing jazz musicians like Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong and Dizzy Gillespie. Flea described his childhood home as violent. His stepfather was an aggressive alcoholic, who eventually became involved in shootouts with police. To cope, Flea began smoking cannabis at 13 and became a daily user. He was first called Flea as a teenager for his seeming inability to sit still, and the nickname stuck. Nicknamed Mike B. the Flea, he attended Fairfax High School and was something of an outcast due to his taste in music. However, he soon met Anthony Kiedis and after a brief confrontation, the two became best friends. Flea was introduced to rock music by Hillel Slovak and particularly punk rock by Kiedis. Flea learned to play bass from Slovak, who shortly after asked him to be a bassist in his band Anthem. Flea soon developed his own style and joined the group, but quit several months later to play for the punk rock outfit Fear. He then rejoined Slovak to form an intended one-off band Tony Flo and the miraculously majestic Masters of Mayhem along with Kiedis and Jack Irons, all of them at the time inspired by the free funk band Defunct and the hip-hop act Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. The band changed its name to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and playing several shows at LA venues, their repertoire grew to nine songs as a result of months of playing at local nightclubs and bars. The Red Hot Chili Peppers entered Bijou Studios to record a demo tape produced by the then drummer of Fear, and subsequently secured a record deal with Emmy. Irons and Slovak decided to leave the Red Hot Chili Peppers in order to pursue a more serious future with the rock band What Is This? Flea ultimately respected the decision, but felt the band would be lost without them. He and Kiedis hired drummer Cliff Martinez and guitarist Jack Sherman to fill Irons and Slovak place. Andy Gill, formerly of Gang of Four, agreed to produce their first album. Gill and Sherman clashed with Flea and Kiedis. They continuously argued over music style, sound and the album's production. Flea himself felt that the album was stiff and a big mistake. The band's debut album, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, was released on August 1984 to largely poor critical and commercial review. After a relatively unfruitful tour, Sherman was fired in early 1985. Slovak, who had been contemplating a return to the Chili Peppers, rejoined the group after being encouraged by Flea. Funk musician George Clinton was hired to produce the band's second album, Freaky Styly. The strong chemistry between Clinton and the Chili Peppers was felt instantly. Flea later referred to Clinton as the warmest, kindest man in the world. Freaky Styly was released in August 1985. It received only a bit more attention than the Red Hot Chili Peppers, with roughly 75,000 copies sold by year's end. Flea was somewhat indifferent to the poor album sales, as he had recently proposed to girlfriend Losha Zeviar who was pregnant with their child. The band hired Michael Beinhorn, their last resort among potential producers to work on their next album. Flea, Slovak and Kiedis especially were involved in heavy drug use, and their relationships became strained. Flea recalled that it began to seem ugly to me and not fun, our communication was not healthy. Kiedis became dependent on heroin, leaving Flea and Slovak to work on much of the album material by themselves. Kiedis was briefly kicked out of the band and given a month to rehabilitate. Kiedis completed the rehab and returned with the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Los Angeles to record their third album, The Uplift Mofo Party Plan. Flea has referred to the album as the rockingest record the band has ever made. The Uplift Mofo Party Plan proved to be far more successful, commercially and critically, than the Chili Peppers' preceding albums registering at number 148 on the Billboard 200. Following the Uplift tour, Slovak's drug use dramatically increased. Flea's relationship with Slovak faded, and Slovak became isolated and depressed. On June 1988, Slovak was found dead of a heroin overdose. In short, Flea and his wife Losha started to grow apart, 
and he began trying to recreate the memories of his adolescence by smoking marijuana on a daily basis. The Chili Peppers entered the studio and completed recording of their fourth album Mother's Milk in early 1989. Upon release the album was met with mixed reactions from critics, but received far more commercial attention, peaking at number 52 on the Billboard 200. After this Flea made appearances playing the trumpet on Jane's Addiction's 1988 album Nothing's Shocking and bass on the critically acclaimed 1989 young MC album Stone Cold Ryman, he would also appear in the video for Bust a Move, the hit single, from the same album. When Blood Sugar Sex Magic was released on September 1991, it received an extremely positive critical response. The album peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 200 and went on to sell over 7 million copies in the U.S. alone. The album's ensuing tour was critically acclaimed, the Chili Peppers commonly performed shows with over 20,000 in attendance, Seattle-based grunge band Nirvana also toured with them during the West Coast leg of their United States tour. The massive attention the Chili Peppers started receiving however caused Frusciate to feel extremely uncomfortable, and he abruptly quit the band during the Japanese leg of the album's tour replaced temporarily by Eric Marshall. In short, after the Chili Peppers announced a long hiatus due to exhaustion, Flea enrolled in music classes at the University of Southern California where he studied music theory, composition, and jazz trumpet. Flea attributed his interest to a newfound desire to widen his appreciation and understanding of music. Flea said he planned to release a mainly instrumental solo record, recorded in his home guest musicians would include Patti Smith and a choir from the Silver Lake Conservatory. The Chili Peppers ended their hiatus in October 2009 without Frusciate, who quit the band to pursue other musical interests, he was replaced by Josh Klinghoffer. The Red Hot Chili Peppers released their 10th studio album I'm With You on August 2011. Also that year, Flea played bass on two songs on Tom Waits' album Bad As Me and released on October 21st. On the 27th of October 2011, it was announced that Flea's project with Damon Albarn and Afrobeat drummer Tony Allen would be called Rocket Juice and the Moon. In October 2021, the Chili Peppers announced the dates for their 2022 world tour that began in June 2022 and will conclude in July 2023. The tour includes the band's first ever headlining stadium shows in the United States in support of their 12th and 13th studio albums Unlimited Love and Return of the Dream Canteen, which were respectively released on April 1st and October 14, 2022. Flea, along with Josh Klinghoffer and Chad Smith, collaborated with Morrissey on his upcoming album Bonfire of Teenagers, which was supposed to be released in February 2023, but in December 2022, it was announced that its future is in limbo, as Capitol Records has decided not to release it.